Hi everyone, it's Rachel, the 15 Minute Lesson Planner, and I'm here today to tell you a little bit about the preschool curriculum guide and planner that I've released. So first of all, thank you so much to everyone who has purchased them so far. It's been absolutely overwhelming um, how many people have purchased them and how many people read the blogs each week that really wanted more. And um, I'm just really, really grateful. Thank you so much. So I've got a lot of questions, obviously, mostly from people who don't read the blog. If you don't read the blog, have a look because I give away free lessons every week. Um, those I sometimes aren't linked with Aster because I wanted to keep all the Aster for this book, obviously. Um, for people who aren't in Ireland that are watching, um, Aster is our curriculum framework. So we link everything to it to make sure that the children are getting a really well-rounded educational experience. So I have the book here. Um, I'm so proud of it. It's absolutely humongous. Um, and I have the planner as well. They're both available in the hard copy or as a download. So I use the same weekly themes all the time. They're ones that I have honed down um, and that I find work. So the weekly themes in this are the same as the weekly themes that are on the blog. And um, I have them linked as the publishing calendar, I think on Halloween or in around, around week seven or eight. Um, but here they are. Uh, they're inside as our table of contents. And this of course forms part of your long-term plan. So between this guide and um, the table of contents and your hang on, and your ethos, which I have a template for in here for merging them both and telling everyone how you're going to deliver your curriculum because that's your long-term plan. Um, I have everything listed out. So let's just take a look. Uh, we'll have a look at universe. So each week has a title page, it has a short intro into what to do with your classroom this week and it has materials lists and then there are about two lessons per page. I have the title, the Astro link, the area of curriculum link and um, if you're buying the universal planner obviously just this bit is taken out. Um, projected outcomes, the lesson outline and each lesson is differentiated at least once. So really there are a lot more than 380 lesson plans in here. Um, there's at least double that. So all of the lessons that are in here I have done, I've used time and time again um, and I love them and my kids have loved them and I'm absolutely positive that your kids will love them as well. So this is a base curriculum. This is what holds the classroom together while you're planning for the emergent curriculum. In the planner I have spaces to plan this curriculum and the emergent curriculum. So this is the planner. It's obviously much smaller than the other one. I have included 12 months worth of plans in here for those crashes that are full time. There's three pages per month um, and it's really really simple so I'm going to give you a look. Uh, first off we have the introduction, step by step how to use it literally. Guys it it's it just couldn't be easier. I wanted to make this as easy as possible because these are things that we have to have recorded for inspections. Um, most of the time we don't or they're not done correctly. So it has to be easy. We have to be able to do all this planning in 15 minutes per week because we don't have much more time than that. This is this is what we've got. We have to have a life outside our work. It cannot be spent planning all the time. It just leads to stress and burnout and we don't need it. So the, this planner and guide is designed to take half of the stress away. The base curriculum is there and you just get to focus on the emerging curriculum. So I have a sample long term plan split into two and a space for you to fill it out. So everyone in your team is on the same page and then I give you a written out sample of what to do. So guys, these are really simple and um, I know they look simple, but they contain all of the information that you need. So we have our medium term plan by putting the titles of the weeks that we're using in and dating it. Uh, then we fill in the two activities per day. You can also fill in books and stories and things that you have to do, for instance, birthdays, meetings, it all goes in here. So this can be done uh, monthly in advance. That's what you wanna do with your team. The next page is your emergent interest record. So when you notice a child having a new interest, you are gonna jot it in here. Just keep a little record of it, just their initials and what they're doing, uh, nice and easy. And then the last page is where you plan for your emergent interest activities. So 
we've planned it in here. This is, you're not going to spend your whole month doing these things, but you are going to do them as frequently as they're needed. You know your kids best. But if an inspector comes into your classroom, they're going to want to know what you're doing and why you're doing it. And if they look in this book, they can see it all so simply written out in front of them that this is what I'm doing. So we have the names that we're making them for, the activities and the curriculum links. And that's it. That's what you have to do every month. This is going to take you 15 minutes per week. And that's all guys. And then you'll, you'll have everything that you need. So um, as I said before, this is available in the store on my website and this is free with the guide at the moment. So I've used these. I trust these lessons. I've tried them all. They're ones that I have tweaked and I really try to make them very, very perfect for you with very minimal materials. Any materials that I do use that aren't recycled, they will be used for multiple lessons. The guide also includes basic recipes for dyeing pasta, oats, rice, anything that you want to dye. I tell you how to do it. And also basic recipes that you need throughout for scones and cupcakes and anything that you need is in here. This is all done for you. You need to focus on the emerging curriculum. It is so important that each child's new interests are followed up, are carried through, because that's what helps us become people, is the interest that we have and not what we share with everyone else. So the base curriculum opens up the whole universe for them and we hone it down and we try to develop new interests. Um, but what the child brings to you is important as well. And they, they deserve this. So I really, really hope you like it. Check out the store. Um, I will be getting back to YouTube. I will start with this week. The transport week is this week. I will start with a vlog for this week. And if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to email me or check out the Facebook page and message me there. So thank you so much again, guys. I really appreciate it. And I will talk to you soon.